Hi, I'm Tom Diamond with RS Metrics, and in the next two minutes, I'll show you how Metal Signals also forecasts FX and rates far outperforming holding a long position. As a reminder, Metal Signals generates data, trends, and predictive signals from satellite imagery of changes in outdoor storage at global smelters and storage sites for aluminum, copper, and zinc. It measures the amount of finished metal products, concentrates, anodes and cathodes, vehicles, and other information. Rolling up this data creates an index we can use to generate signals that are highly predictive of metal price and inventory direction one, two, and three months out and further. What you see here is an increase in the amount of outdoor storage at copper smelters year over year, and that creates a red negative signal as copper price goes down, then green up, red down, green up, red down, green up, red down, green up. These same signals are also highly predictive of stock price for equities with metals exposure. And here's just a partial list. Includes Caterpillar, Komatsu, many others. If you look at these same signals from our copper smelters on Glencore or Freeport or BHP, Red down, green up, red down, green up, red down, green up. You can also look at the returns. This is for a long only strategy, which takes 100% long position when we have a positive signal, 50% with no signal, and 100% cash when we have a negative signal. So it's mainly just protecting downside loss. A long short strategy would return more. But you can see for Glencore and also for CopX, this is an index, and we track nine of the top 10 tickers that roll up into CopEx. If we want to see how these same signals forecast FX and rates, we can go to our tool, Metal Signals. And here what we see is monthly outdoor aluminum storage at smelters since 2013. We can choose to overlay the euro over the US dollar. And what we see here is a chart of euro over US dollar with green signals up, change in direction, red down, period of weakness here, green up, red down. And looking at those returns on a long only again, since 2000, September 2013, holding the euro long, it would be negative 8% with the signal strategy positive 22% can also look at an example for rates. We can go to the five-year treasury. And let's look at copper, which is one way to forecast this. We can look year over year, which sometimes makes the trends more clear. And here we see the five-year treasury with our signals overlaid and the returns. Pretty good 52% just holding it long, but 80% with the signal strategy. So all this information that we've shown you so far is all based on just RS metrics data. But incorporating this into your existing strategy and process will have a significant impact. Thanks for watching and please contact us with any questions at info at rsmetrics.com.